Come everybody for this company first we cast. This time it's me Herr Blaut here playing as the US forces and I play against you Miriam Bra playing as the Wehrmacht and oh oh boy I forgot to uh, activate this um, replay tool. Let me do that real quick. There we go. All right and as you can see we already played um, earlier this day so that was more or less a rematch, let's say. <laughs> let's see to activate the fog of war, so that we also see what uh, Yumi is doing. Engineers on the field. Look at that. Um, maybe some of you guys remember um, a game I casted between me and Helping Hans, and there I noticed it was on the very same match, Twin Beaches over here, and um, I noticed that Helping Hans was um, uh, placing his units always uh, in the very odd area of a circle of a capture point uh, so that he saves um, like I think like like three seconds or so um, uh, to walk to the next capture point to cap it. Um, Yumeri Bra is not doing that and I am also not doing that. <laughs> anyway the builds uh, Yumeri Bra is going for two pioneers and an MG that is quite the same Rifle opener I will. Uh, I am often using when I play the Wehrmacht. Second MG is coming in, mm, and I am just coming with my scout squad. I go for an early engineer squad. That is something I really like to do because um, I really like to set up green cover for my own troops and um, deny green cover for the enemy troops using barbed wire. Uh, so I think it's pretty important to go for the first sepper uh, or the sepper first. Um, yeah, even though many people are not doing that, since they do want to like um, would like to make use of um, all the manpower they can get access to um, to bring up more and more riflemen. I have no idea whether that was uh, expressed correctly, but I think you got the message right. <laughs> all right, so we are making a little bit fun about you know, about teaching me and stuff, um, but. He want, doesn't want to teach me, he wants to snipe me. Oh, I didn't read that during the match. Man, that is very, very perky of you, Marine, bro. Anyway, mm, uh, the first engagement over here was a little bit rough for me because um, yeah, my first weapon score was just instantly pinned. And now I'm doing a very bad mistake because I just engaged with the second uh, weapon squad over here. I thought, yeah, maybe when I stand green cover, then it's. Uh, Win a bit because I thought maybe this MG over here could be placed um, without green cover, but apparently, look at that, all four models were in green cover over here, so a pretty bad engagement for me. Anyway, so far the map control was not even too bad. However, I think tides return pretty soon. <laughs> look at that, he's uh, having these uh, new skins, right? I think so. There are no regular grins. Nice. Alright, uh, the Scott Quad revealed uh, these engineers over here. And um, yeah, now I obviously know where one of these MGs is, and the second MG. I think I already uh, noticed this, the position of the se second MG over here. Thus, I decided to. Uh, to prepare a flanking move over here for at least one of these NGs and at the same time <coughs> the cap is cut off so that he is not having access to too much resources actually because I mean the map control is weakly. It's bad. Ooh, and this is having a bad time but these guys now are engaging and they are more or less repelling this NG. So it was a worthy Sacrificial move over here with this club. That is an interesting fight, by the way. I noticed that during the match, and I uh, was very happy to see that these um, engineers over here are doing so much damage. I remember that for some reason I just. Um, yeah. Retreated way too early. Um, oh, since I noticed that this engagement most likely won't be for my favor sooner or later, uh, I decided to 
to go for the airborne battle group real quick and just drop an MG over here so that I can at least win one engagement. And um, I think I have some work. I mean, obviously he's refocusing for this weapon that's got over here. And Oh, and this one for Scott. And, uh, you need weapons? Cause, cause them to retreat and shoot me. Mm. However, now, the Reffman script I was having earlier are coming back on the field, and now, at least I'm getting back a little bit of map control. I noticed that the SMG is engaging, so I um, soft retreated over here. And I think the idea now was to go behind these houses and mm, prepare for his engagement with entering this building. However, yeah, however the flamethrower is just about coming, yeah, mm, but it's uh, obviously no noob. <laughs> and flamethrower, that is a pretty strong unit now. Um, okay, by the way, mm, Let's take a look for the Mugra's battle group. He's going for the mechanized battle group. Nice. Victory point is under enemy control. <laughs> Interesting though. He is playing the exact same build I am using uh, lately. Enemy awesome, right? Um, some people told me that this is uh, more or less meta at the, the moment for the Wehrmacht, and now I am quite convinced that they were right. Because, yeah. Hmm. At least many Keep people were back. using it so far. Oh, that. Um, this MG drop over here, oh, that hit me the ass um, several times. And now I am really getting back on the field. Pretty, pretty good. <laughs> and uh, for some reason, he's having like the AFK uh, uh, over here. Hmm. Not that well played, which. Okay, these guns. Most likely need to retreat soon. However, this is G. Okay, it's pinning the first supply squad or engineer squad. And yeah, okay. Both are about to retreat. Great. <laughs> what is this? That is hard. Nice. Sandbag out. Yeah. And I decided to go for um, some um, paratroopers. Oh, that was a little bit a bad uh, engagement because, uh, or a bad drop because there were these Panzer Grenadiers. Fortunately, I uh, decided not to instantly retreat my MG with that. Uh, by the way, that is something I really rec would recommend to um, everybody who is having issues with, yeah, with many engagements. Uh, make sure that you don't retreat your units. Um, yeah, let's say in an exaggerated way, uh, because low units like like this rifleman squad. I don't know whether we we treat these guys soon. However, um, just imagine I would win this engagement, uh, which I really won't because of this many many. Um, these guys still would be good enough to cap some stuff. And this MG over here, for instance, as you saw, just saved my ass. <laughs> okay, that's the Achtba. That is a quite classic unit. Eight minute mark, okay. <laughs> that is dangerous. Yeah. Maybe I shall use your retreat? Yeah, okay, I did it. Ah, okay, maybe I want to make sure that these uh, retreating spots over here are not. Um, dying due to this blow up, as they are already threatened by the Achterrad. Alright, full retreat, that is, oh, <laughs> that is a full retreat indeed. Now I decide to get myself an anti-tank gun, I think that was quite a wise choice, because this anti-tank gun is really needed to keep the manpower beat low against the Achterrad. I redeployed some here, <laughs> and as you can see, I am very proud to show you some off-meter gameplay. Because, I mean, I went for the air support center. That is something I rarely see lately, or what means lately, 
I, I think there was not even one single um, one single point of uh, the history of Company Field 3 so far where I um, saw many people going for the air support center. So um, I don't actually see why, because I mean, I, I, I mean, okay, obviously I see why <laughs> the, um, the infantry support center obviously is way stronger than this thing. However, the air support center is so much fun to use, um, especially in the late game when um, not just in the late game. Here we will see that uh, this MG will will it take some damage. I hope so. Okay, it's not good enough. Okay, okay. The the initial damage output of the air support center is really bad. Uh, however, as soon as you got some upgrades, switch to my perspective. Um, for instance, uh, the air supply and the double sortie upgrade. Um, as soon as you have these upgrades, the air support center is incredibly strong. So I would highly recommend to go for this. <laughs> it was very greedy of us this after part. <laughs> um, yeah, and this MG got repaired as well. That is good. Mm, and most likely because of SMG and all these uh, workmen over here, I will certainly win these engagements. Uh, some grenades are being thrown. Yeah, that is the mainline anti tank gun. Ooh, a wipe. Nice. Another wipe, by the way. I mean, Achtrad died. Flamethrower engineer died. Quite some misplays from you, know, bro. I am in. I, I'm, I'm surprised, let's say. First, I want to say I'm impressed, but now I would rather say I'm surprised that in this situation my micro turned out to be a little bit better than Yumiri Brown's micro because I mean he is... is it a he or a she? I think it's a he. Um, he is rank... or uh, before this match he used to be rank 3, now he's rank 4. So he's a pretty good player. One of the best players, actually. Oof, and that is another vibe. Oh, he's wasting so much stuff at the moment. Well, to be honest, that was very overextended. I mean, I uh, noticed earlier that this MG is uh, within this uh, or is garrisoned in, inside of this building thus it was pretty easy to repair it with the mortar mm, by the way you remember I just went for two MGs in this match so maybe they, it was not even that necessary to go for a mortar however even though there were just two MGs, the mortar turned out to be very useful already. I mean, it's not vetted so far, but it killed four units, and uh, I mean, it caused the uh, MG, the first MG of um, of Unibra to to be wiped, and with that, ooh, but these guys, oh no, they're coming away. The mortar maybe will come away as well. Uh, and, and with that, I want to say, uh, Yumi Bar is now in a pretty bad situation. I mean, I, uh, he, he rebuilt, it, uh, he rebuilt the, the second, or uh, first, I don't know which uh, Achtrad actually died, but he rebuilt one of these Achtrads. Um, I just wanted to say that I assume that he's uh, with that um, having a little bit of uh, manpower issues, but apparently he's not having manpower issues. Interesting, though. Hmm. Did I already attack the mates? I don't know. Uh, so far... Yeah, I took them and I'm already having access to the bars. Uh, so you see, this build... Mm, this build now... I, I just got created by the heat of the moment. But... This build is pretty strong, I guess, because now I'm having access to one bazooka squad, an entire tank gun, three riflemen, a mortar, a scout, two MGs, which is incredibly strong, actually. I'm having everything I need, even for a late gameplay. It's awesome. Um, and I'm having still... Uh, I'm, I'm having 200 manpower. 
one or two, uh, that's good. And since I am having access to an anti-tank gun, these upgrades are still annoying, but they are not that big threat. Yeah, well, they need to move again. <laughs> now he wants to decrew my anti-tank gun board, ultimately. Here's MG. He's <laughs> countering the lop. Awesome, isn't it? Oh, by the way, uh, wait a second, did I already use one of my riflemen? Why is uh, that, uh, um, for experience here, a grand yes for uh, carrying a boss rifle? Hmm. I don't like that. Oh well. Both Achtrads are pretty low already and he needs to repair, so both of the flamethrower squads are occupied. By the way, we went for two flamethrowers, where is the minesweeper? <laughs> I think that's a mistake. I mean, usually um, when I go for the air support center, I don't spam that many mines. My mains? That many mines? <laughs> that is the zeroing artillery barrage. But it won't be effective, I guess. Right. Yeah. Whew! Three Not even too bad. Now, uh, what did I want to say, by the way? Um, something with these engineers and the minesweeper. Um, ah, yeah, okay. So, since I uh, went for the uh, support center, I mostly use my ammunition. Oh, what a minute. Whew. Mostly use my ammunition to. Um, <laughs> awesome. To repel uh, MGs, for instance. Huh? That is something I lately really like to do because, uh, yeah, the MGs of the Wehrmacht can be quite annoying. Some people even consider them to be overpowered, but I don't share that opinion because, I mean, you quite effectively can counter them. And that also applies for team games. I already played some team games, there was two main leagues, you know, where the US Forces players, uh, the, uh, the Wehrmacht players were spending MGs. And, um, and it's just quite funny to <laughs> to repair them with the uh, with the um, yeah the P47 straining one. The thing is, even though uh, this straining one is dodgeable, the MG needs to disassemble, move, and to reassemble. And um, naturally, you just use the straining one um, when you are engaging with some infantry squads, right? So, as soon as the MG will disassemble, there is a... Uh, you get the opportunity to um, decrew it or, or deal some damage or maybe flank it, stuff like that. Um, yeah, and with that, I think the strain run is worth it. Maybe even more for team games than for 1 vs 1, because, I mean, it was 1... One was one, sorry. <laughs> Obviously, it's a little bit dangerous when you go for um, the air support center because you are looking for instance, the uh, tank upgrades. Oh, there's the P4. I remember that. Okay, let's focus on this situation before we keep on talking. Keep on talking. Uh, this tank and tank can use the food. Unfortunately, I retreated. Yeah, I remember that. I retreated this uh, paratrooper squad wisely. And now there's the bait. And you remember, I taking it, right? Uh, I think the snare is coming out. And this Panzer IV will die. And that is huge because, I mean, Panzer IV is way more expensive than a Sherman is. And um, they already deployed this. Uh, Skirts for the Panzer IV, so it's even more expensive actually. I mean, now I, mm, I'm wasting my Sherman as well, so not even that great because it captured my anti tank gun. Ooh, but that could be as well. As well. So, maybe with this MG. Oh, it's not assembled. <gasps> oh, too bad. Anyway, uh, the Panzer IV is dead. It's awesome. Block gets pinned, certainly. The map control is not even bad. What means not even bad? It's awesome. <laughs> the scout squad over here is capping. 
Oh wow, this Panzer Grenade has managed to outrun this MG. Oh no, 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 too bad. What? My anti tank gun back. Great. Oh. I mean, the Sherman died. Sherman already was uh, upgraded with uh, the MG. So it was also quite a loss for me. Still. Losing a Panzer IV is way more important than losing a Sherman, I think. Mm, okay. Air Support Center. I didn't wait for any upgrades so far, and I think that is um, uh, that's a mistake because at least the upgrade that uh, the um, strain runs or bombing runs are cheaper. Ah, okay, now I'm deploying both. <laughs> okay, that was a lack of micro. Um, so these upgrades are very important, I guess, because I mean, especially this thing is nice because it lowers the um, mission costs. With that, you can just spam them um, without caring for your ammunition. And at least, um, when you get this upgrade, you also can start spamming some mines. That's awesome. By the way, it's strange to see that uh, these acht rats, both both are red one, but no, 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 no. Wait a second. He's uh, skipping the T4. Oh no, he's not. He's not. Okay, he's not going for the Panzer officer squadrons. So both are just red one. And are not even having that many kills. And they're always used within a blip of the Too bad. So these upgrades are not even that uh, effective. Awesome, isn't it? Right. Yep, yeah, but they can cap. The Wehrmacht. Achtrads can cap even without any upgrades, so I'm always decapping my 16 times field because yeah. Obviously he noticed that I need the ammunition because I went for the air supplies um, uh, air support center. So this is a pretty strong move. Two enter tank guns to counter the Sherman. Yeah, not bad. Two Achtrads and two enter tank guns, that is certainly pretty strong. However, and that's another thing which is pretty nice. Uh, oh, I wanted to point that out earlier. So the air support center is becoming, I think it's becoming stronger and stronger the more minutes pass. Because, as you can see, not just your minute bra, one of now. the best players, but <laughs> everybody else is doing this mistake. They are uh, keeping their anti-tank guns together. I also do that. Um, not just from time to time, but regularly. Not always, but regularly. And this is a mistake because just one strain run is enough to decrew both anti tank guns, and then it can be pretty much GG. So I don't know what that will happen in this game, but uh, pff, certainly dangerous. All right, Achtwarts are moving, anti tank guns are following them. What a nice team, look at that. This is beautiful, isn't it? They pushed mm. us off a sector. Oh, nice. Huh. Anyway. I mean, um, it is pretty obvious that these entire tank guns are over here. And I engaged anyway, because I thought, maybe I can just shoot once and then instantly disengage. But uh, <laughs> it wasn't that fast enough. I think... Okay, that is just a okay. grasshopper. By the way, I would recommend to upgrade the grasshopper a little bit earlier than I did it. Because um, like this, you just see what is over or what is within the uh, field of view of the grasshopper, but you don't actually see what the grasshopper is seeing. So the map is not really good. And that is a little bit, <laughs> little bit dumb. I don't like it. I mean, I could have been using this reconnoiter. Maybe a little bit better. Oh, that's um, a little bit 
more expensive as well, so... Ooh, that will be a wipe, right? Come on, that will be a No, <laughs> no but I will get a wipe. Oh, damn. Awful. Ooh. Ooh, nasty. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, okay, this... Okay, and this retreat, uh, I remember that, that was a mistake. I didn't do that intentionally. No, I mean, still it happened, so... What shall I say? Jim is trying to relieve the situation a bit. Oh no, he captured this MG. I'm pretty sure I will get it back sooner or later, because I am playing the air support center, yay! <laughs> I love it. Yeah, again, I mean, I know the air support center is not as powerful as the infantry support center, and uh, if you really would, would like to grind the ladder, then you should go for the infantry, su infantry support center, but the air support center is just way funnier to play. It's amazing. By the way, way funnier than, uh, way funnier to play, is that correct expression? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, and he's trying to faust me. He won't quite do it. Looks successful. There's the panther. Panther calling is quite scary. However, uh, I don't even think that this was a good idea. I mean, your mirror at the moment is just um, more or less playing a standard build and this is forcing him to go for the panther now however <laughs> i remember the situation i thought okay there is a searing artillery strike but i won't care for it because this anti tank gun won't survive anyway and that's very true so anti tank gun died but at the same time both achtarts died <laughs> and now now exactly The um, wait a second. Um, the, the exact same. Uh, the exact. Wait a second. <laughs> the uh, the case I wanted to point out that uh, this standard build is not quite a good idea at the moment um, is happening because he is lacking anti-infantry firepower, severely you now, and I will most likely even snare this panther. And will it die? Oh God! Why am I retreating this anti tanker That could have been killing this panther. Uh, maybe because of this infantry over here that's me. Okay, I want to play safe and just steer this into a tanker. I think that is a good idea. Yeah, and it would have been a little bit of a gamble to go for the um, panther kill. Mm, because also dodges are a possibility. So However, the panther is quite low now and won't, it won't engage even though the um, Germans just be a little bit alone because these guys need to retreat. Now and now I will get back his or my MG. Oh, that is indeed my MG. I am having his MG42. T7 my 1919. Mm, get it back? Okay, I just wanted to cap it, but he's throwing the MMA, so I back off. And the second Panther. I still think that is not that a good idea, to be honest, because. Uh, I am not heavily relying on armor at the moment. Okay, I I am going for the third German, but how could he know, right? He couldn't know, so... I think all he knows is that I am having a mortar and MGs and riflemen and all this stuff. Um, so I think it's just not a good idea to go for an additional panther. He is now having. What is he having? He is having we a panther grenadier, two One grenadiers, and two. Okay, two engineers and an MG. That is not a lot of infantry. And I mean, now, look at that. Le the victory points. I am having six 96 victory points. All you need to do is to go for infantry and deny the victory points, right? He's not doing that. Because he's greedy for the Panthers. I mean, obviously, Panthers are also dealing in damage to infantry. But. Not as much as he needs at the moment, right? Yeah? 
No. He's not having enough infantry to outflank uh, my MGs. Okay. <laughs> He's <laughs> still <Stupid> idiot. <laughs> this one she was always so okay. That is the issue. Right? Anyway. Um, three Shermans are dealing some manpower bleed. These guys are very expensive to reinforce. 28. Oh, it's not really that expensive. Well, it's expensive. Close to 30, uh, 30 manpower. That is not nothing. Um, by the way, that is... Another MG42. Okay, so now oh, I'm having access to two MGs and he's not having that much infantry, so pretty dangerous. Oh, I remember this situation. That was a little bit stupid to place this anti tank because now he sees that my anti tank gun is over here and yeah, he will have a, an easy time to deploy it. Mm. And then that could be dangerous again. By the way, I went for the uh, for the cup bomb run because I thought uh, I am having enough ammunition so that I can afford it. Um, but <laughs> the attack kind of okay. But still, to use this ability effectively is pretty hard. Anyway, I don't need it anyway because uh, everything that's now of interest is to go for victory points and I am indeed having a high victory point pressure on him and he is having on me. <laughs> yeah, and he is having two panthers but these panthers are just not quite useful. <laughs> yeah, I think that is the carpet bombing right now. Right? Uh, super useless. <laughs> right. Where's my attack gun? I lost it somehow, oh, right? Oh no. Hmm, okay, I'm not having so much manpower, maybe... Okay, it was... It was hmm. lost. No I am just thinking about these shamans. I think it was no good idea to go for three shamans. After, after all. But by the time I built the third shaman, I was not expecting him to go for the second panther because I think uh, at this point I thought uh, his main threat now is my infantry and most likely it will, um, that will force him to go for more let's say panzer grenadiers or so stuff like that but he didn't do that and with that he I think unintentionally countered my my build and in fact it would have been better for me to go for another anti-tank gun <laughs> this driving run awesome <laughs> look at that air support center or air supply, uh, yeah air support center awesome awesome yeah. So this MG is now in fleet and shooting and now these Panthers are completely helpless against my infantry. Uh, unfortunately he uh, flanked my MG so I needed to retreat. So what he's saying over here is not threat anymore for me. And he will lose another another uh, engineer squad. That is, that is really dangerous now. For him. <laughs> Human bra is is having uh, five infantry squads, but I think there are no match for my infantry, right? I mean, I'm having riflemen with bars of plates and two MGs and a mortar. I think the mortar is also pretty important. 
Even though I didn't care too much stuff. That was a lot of straight out. <laughs> now you remember the situation I wanted to to engage over here. Uh, to to kill my Shermans. But I unfortunately was having an MG over there, so nah, my plan didn't work out. But I wanted him uh, to to follow me a little bit so that I can kill something, maybe maybe a panther. So it didn't work. Anyway, the m the important thing here is that he is not able to keep up with the um, two point pressure. Manpower bleed <laughs> and retreat. Manpower bleed and retreat. Nice. Yeah. One of our strategic points is under I'm attack. an artist. Skytrain boys are eager to make their drop. Oh, uh, yeah. A munitions point is being attacked. All right, and this MG will pin my squad or am I paying attention Reports and will... Um, near our victory point. No. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, too bad. I could have easily... Um, repair this MG. <laughs> Without using the string one, however. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this training one. That's such an awesome ability. <laughs> and it just cost 40 munition. There you go. Oh, all this manpower beat. Remember, I can't keep up with that, right? 115 manpower. <laughs> and the great voice in heaven is still telling you, Mirumbra, that I am just having 100 victory points left and that he just needs to finish me. And he thinks, God, shut up, God, I don't want to hear your voice anymore, please, leave me alone, I will kill these Sharons. I won't get all these victory points. By the way, mm, I mean these Shermans were doomed. Mm, but I think these Panthers... I, in this very situation I thought, never mind, I lost my Shermans but I don't care because these Shermans, uh, these Panthers will die to, uh, to my infantry because now I have having access to two paratroopers first and these are... Whew, these guys are beasts. Over here, my infantry superiority is pretty severe. My attention here was to uh, <laughs> to snare this panther, but unfortunately, yeah, I threw this grenade, but unfortunately, there is the bug that from time to time the grenades won't um, be thrown. It's so annoying. I mean, the first panther died, but the second panther actually, the second panther also could have been dying. But due to a bucket, did not. Um, it's still okay because one panther is there, and that is more than I could have been asking for. And I think, even though I lost this MG over here, I still win these engagements because I think I uh, again will have access to yeah another straining one. Great. <laughs> Also, the great voice in heaven is telling me that I'm just having 100 points left <laughs> all the time. I don't even remember this because maybe my brain just decided to to filter this useless information. Who is caring for for these 90 victory points left? Nobody, right? By the way, the mortar yeah, is pretty idle. Did use the mortar as effectively as I could have used it. Yep, just plucked the victory point. Very, very important. 200 points remaining. 200 points remaining. <laughs> We've lost control of a sector. He didn't dodge the nade. By this time, I think he was already a little bit... I think he was already a little bit tilted by the game and decided to... to misplay. Yeah, that's great, why not? Alright, he is attack. having we must act. Stoßtruppen. Two MG, two MGs again, wow. Where is he taking all this manpower from, right? That's so strange. But the map control is awesome, and look at that. 
One, two, three, four, five, six ammunition points that I am having access to. And two of these are 60 times ammunition points. Oh, poo. I can spam these planes. <laughs> and I bet your Mimibra will be not quite amused about that. <laughs> so funny, I like it. Oh. Oh, I remember this, this, this MG, um, mm, yeah. the position of this MG was interesting to say the least. Mm. Oh, I remember the situation, look at that, that's funny, the strain run is now repelling this MG. Oh no, what? wait a second, it's, it's not even this situation, okay, maybe that will happen a little later. Anyway, okay, MG is gone. I maybe will be at this point. Yeah, you remember when I was having access to two victory points and I am um, having some issues and um, the three point dominance. At the same time, I think it will win this combat over here, this battle over here. Yes, so this point will be, will get the kept. Yeah, I remember this situation. I wanted to kill this this um, anti-tank gun, but unfortunately I proceeded a little bit too much, I guess. Got pinned by... Ah, oh, no, it was this MG! Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, and with that knight, I need to retreat. Uh, pretty bad, because I would really have liked to uh, to kill this anti-tank gun. Anyway, the uh, map control is insane by now. And even though uh, Yumi was going for another Panzer IV, I think now he can't tie, uh, turn the tides anymore because um, the sheer infantry dominance of the US forces now um, will most likely cost, uh, cost him the game. Uh, these Panthers are just useless. Nobody cares for these Panthers. Even though I wanted to kill them, because I mean, still I'm having access to a Sherman and. Panthers obviously kill Sherman. Um, however, ah, yeah, the situation. <laughs> Grenade on this MG, and this MG also <laughs> need to retreat. <laughs> so much for the overpowered MG 42s, right? I mean, one rifleman squad can be enough to repel two MG 42s. Even though these MGs are operated by one of the best players out there, so yeah, U.S. forces. Yeah, okay, but uh, I mean, he misplayed a little bit, so yeah, he's already a little bit distracted by now because uh, can't accept the loss, I guess. And uh, now, um, I remember the situation, I, um, yeah, this will be a moment I decide to care for this blob over here. It's just a two um, unit blob, but still, it's a blob. Ooh, that could be a wipe. Mm -hmm. And I think now the panther will die. Uh, and the blob is uh, not, not a good thing to have, because uh, panther 4 will certainly kill a blob. I'm having access to a strain one. Why am I not using it? It should. Aha! Uh -huh. Um, okay. Ooh! Ah! That's a bit of damage to. Uh, to the anti tank guns. These MGs were pinned by my MGs. Yeah, by the overpowered MG42. <laughs> the overpowered MG42. Pinned to overpowered MG42s. <laughs> This Panzer IV is having a bad time, and there are two anti tank guns, but they need to retreat because yeah, there are so many infantry units left. Mm. And by now, I think it's pretty much GG. I want to retreat a little bit, and um, but it's in creation. Now then, Titanic and I don't even kill this Panzer IV. <laughs> oh. 
Win it? Oh, come on! Okay, maybe it's Shaman, we just do the job. Awesome. Oof! Oh, I didn't pay attention for the chat. Oh, you know you guys are a little bit pissed by now. By the way, remember, if you are watching this, you really need to relax. <laughs> the game we were having before this one. I shouldn't tell you that, but I really need to. He That's was it. even me taunting me and stuff left. like that, and uh, now I win and he's just uh, up and ready to make a hmm, pass. raging around. That is no good sportsmanship. <laughs> I mean, I know. It's also no good sportsmanship to show his reaction now, but I mean, come on. Maybe he can learn something out of it, right? Just relax. He's playing way better than me. I think he just lost this match because he was a little bit uh, in rage mode. Anyway, that now was a GG. And I have to say, GG and well played, you know, bro. Mm. Even though I think the um, usage of, of uh, the, the heavy uh, usage of uh, Panthers was not a good idea. Because, um, yeah, I mean, I think he should have noticed that I am um, not having access to either um, guns, gun upgrades or armor upgrades for my Shermans. Um, or for, uh, for instance, infantry bus by the uh, infantry support center, stuff like that. Because I spammed these straining ones and... Um, with that, he should have been noticing that my infantry will be the bigger threat, let's say. Even though I weren't using the infantry support center, but I mean, riflemen with double bars still are very, very strong. Oh, and by that time, I built five, five of them. That is a remembering me of the good old times in Cooking Furious 2 when the people used to play. Um, uh, come on, conscript builds with, uh, for instance, SVTs or so, and um, we're just building like five or maybe sometimes even six um, uh, conscripts to just overwhelm the enemy with uh, sheer infantry dominance. Yeah, so I think since these Shermans uh, were not. They had a big threat for him. I mean, three Sherman can't kill one Panther. When the Panther is backed up with anti-tank guns. And you remember, well, was already having two anti-tank guns. Um, and one Sherman, uh, one, one Panther already would have been enough. Even one Panther was too much, I think. I mean, he uh, first went for the... Um, for the side skirts, right? The side skirts and the Panzer IV. That was the first thing he was going for. So why mm, didn't he decide to go for just more Panzer IVs? Because the Panzer IVs are cheaper. And in this situation, they were very, uh, they were very stronger because I mean they uh, deal severe damage to infantry, and that was was uh, what what he needed at this point. Huh. Yeah, I think that was the big misplay of Humiron, bro, that he uh, went for Panthers. <laughs> Pretty bad decision, actually. Uh. Well, with that, let's say all of us, we need to relax a little bit more, for sure. Mm. And yeah, let's just have a good time. Let's say, GG, well played, well played, Humiron, bro. Great game. And let's have a good time. See you guys.